<laughs> All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at my favorite place, Mifflin County Sportsman Association near Lewistown, Pennsylvania. And we are testing out the TA31 ACOG. Now, this is a special ACOG. This one is equipped with the ACSS reticle. And it has been calibrated specifically for the 62 grain M855. Green tips is what we are shooting today. Got a little bit of water coming out. Now, I have targets uh, set out to the 500 yard mark. And this is a rifle I haven't shot very much. Matter of fact, I actually forgot all about it. This thing's equipped with the uh, Ballistic Advantage uh, Premium Barrel. We've got the BCM handguard, M4A1 upper and lower, and one of my favorite stocks from the guys over there at Magpul. So let's go ahead. We're going to shoot from the tank trap today because I just want to see if I can do it or not. It should be fun. So let's go ahead and get situated and get some rounds down range. Let's see what we got. So first of all, we got targets, 100, 200. I skipped the 400 today. Uh, and thanks to the guys over there at the Renaissance uh, Firearm, Renaissance Firearms Training. Yeah, those guys. I'm gonna put the link down below. They left their steel out here, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. But I've got my steel set up at 100. Here we go. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take it up to the uh... ah, I'm all over the place. Then we're gonna take it up, put it on the bipod and see if we can do any better. There we go, 300 is an Ipsic target up there. Christ. There we go. I'm shooting left, way right. Well, not too good. All right, 500, a big Ipsic target up there. Got a little bit of a wind. Let's come back down to the uh, 100. Two hundred. We're shitting higher, low. Right, let's go back to that three hundred Ipsic. All right, so that's it. Uh, yeah, we got either a wind out there or something's going on, but we're uh, hanging a little bit to the uh, left. Let's go ahead and put a bipod on it and shoot it rested and see how we can do. Stand by. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so that was from a position behind a tank trap, and I always try to think about how often are you going to be sitting at a bench when you come into a combat zone. But in an effort to try and work this thing out a little bit better, uh, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and mount this bipod with the kinetic development quick thingy, Jigabob, and I'm going to reconfirm our zero because we're shooting a little left. I just want to make sure that we're shooting zero. I checked it a few seconds ago and I swear it was right on the money. But all I want to do is I just want to make sure that we are shooting the way we're supposed to be. Here we go. Uh, you know what? Close enough. It looks like I'm pulling it a little bit. So let me shorten this bad boy down a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's do uh, 100. 200. I don't know where that's hitting at. All right, the Ipsic target. Three. I'm gonna hold the left left side of that thing. I don't know where that went. Okay, let's go on up to that 500 Epsic full 18 inch target.
And I will tell you this, man, this thing is balls on out to 600. Let's go back to that 300. Two hundred, one hundred, five, I don't know if I'm hitting it, but man, it sounds like it's a lot of fun. One hundred. That's it. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not going to do a review on the optic itself because we all know that this optic, I'm going to scratch down here, is world renowned. It's world known. It is combat proven. Uh, for the most part, if you were in the military between the what, years of 2005 or whatever, you probably had one of these things mounted on your rifle. I was not so lucky. Hell, we didn't see optics uh, at any time during my career. But anyway, uh, what an amazing optic. It's, uh, and I've watched all the cool reviews. It is prismatic, but what we're here to talk about is the ACSS reticle inside of it. One of the things that we did prior to this video was go ahead and calibrate it out to 600 yards. And it was hitting the, uh, the gong out there with the 855. The ballistics, the ballistic coefficient of that round is matched perfectly with this guy as long as you have to calibrate it out to distance. Once you get that thing calibrated, uh, each one of those round targets that we were shooting at was 10 inches. Let's go ahead and do it like this so you can see it. Each one of those <laughs> targets was 10 inches. And you have to think about that this thing is calibrated to hit a 18 by 36 inch area and you will not have a problem uh, engaging and contacting your target with uh, some 855. Now, this particular rifle, uh, this does have the velocity trigger. Uh, this is their concave version, three and a half uh, pound. We are also using the Arma spec. Um, this is, well, you gotta actually pull it completely apart. Well, hold on. There we go. Probably doesn't. This is the Arma spec uh, spring deal. It's kind of like the uh, Sonic Capture spring. Uh, and you know what? It's, it's interesting. I put this rifle together. I never took it out to do a field test or an accuracy test. So far, so good with the, uh, the Ballistic Advantage Pla Premium Barrel. This is their bead blasted one. Uh, I do love this rail from BCM. It does everything. One of the things that I'm having issues with rails is that after you fire them, the, the rails seem to want to rise up and it makes the barrel look like it's dipping down, but actually it's just the barrel, the, the, the muzzle handguard coming up on this thing. But anyway, guys, this is, uh, if you remember, this was the high speed, low drag build. This thing started off, and uh, one of the things I wanted to do was test this thing. Uh, we'll continue to uh, move forward uh, shooting this guy here in the near future, but I will tell you this, the, the ACOG, they have some of the absolute best glass in the business. And I hope that that microphone is not hitting the table there too much. But absolutely perfect. The reticle in this bad boy, the ACSS with that chevron tip, one of the beautiful things I do love about it is you can zero this guy and you can see to the nth degree the pinpoint that, it, that thing's hitting at. So when you know exactly where you're shooting it, that's one of the deals. So the ACSS reticle, I thought it would be fun to use the tank trap, and not sit behind a bench the whole time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to put the link to this guy on my website, kb32tac.com. If you're interested in uh, looking at this guy, it'll be on there. Uh, I think they retail from, you know, sometimes you pick them up for $9.99, something like that. But uh You'll see the link down there for more information and the specs. But there's a lot of reviews out there on the optic itself. But I wanted to do a demonstration of how the ACSS work, reticle works inside this thing. So anyway, that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women who fight for our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.